Hey everybody, this is TBC Toys back here with another toy review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Black Adam Page Puncher's John Constantine. You can see it says it includes English comic book. Um, I was really hesitating in this guy. I really wasn't a big fan of this look of this John Constantine. Good one was the head sculpt, and two, the head sculpt, of course. Um, you can see it's from DC Direct. I know a lot of people uh, review this guy and stuff, and I'm late to the bunch. So this is 2023. This guy came out back in 2022, probably in the mid August. So yeah, you can see the back. You can see, you know, the barcode if y'all are really interested. Mm -hmm. I got this guy back on, on Amazon. $25. So, yeah, enough rambling. Let's get him opened up. Here we got all John Constantine opened up. That package was a nightmare to get him out, especially these uh, comic books. And actually, I didn't discard by getting this card out of the package. But anyway, let's start with the card first. You can see the Black Adam comic book. I forgot the name of this um who who drew the comic book. It says probably said on the pack. Yep. Yep, I see. I see it now. But anyway, you can see John Constantine right here. He's right over here. If I can zoom in. My bad. Sorry, everybody. Okay, now we zoom in. Okay, gotcha. You can see John Constantine right here. Looking, looking good. You can see Superman, Batman, and of course Black Adam. You can pause to read his bio. You can see Johnson Constantine, real name John Constantine. You can see his bio. If you can pause to read, focus. Okay, no. Okay, now pause and read. Well, bad. And his accessories, you can see he came with a book, a spells book that only John Constantine can see. You can see the the devil so <laughs> I wish it had some page like you can close it and um see the pages as well. Like NECA, it has um a closed book and um you can see the uh the spells you can see the spell stuff on the book too as well. And I wish it was looking closest to you can see I I took off the hand for this one for the cigar hand. You know, John. Uh, if you do, if you don't know, uh, John Constantine smokes cigarettes and stuff like that. And you can see his, if in, you can see his, his spells. Well, his, yeah, he can cast spells as well. So you may be thinking, who is John Constantine? John Constantine, he's like a demon hunter. Think of him like a blade, a demon hunter just hunting demons and he actually um had quite a quite fun of having sex with demons really 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 but he does um date satana actually you can see the uh kind of oh it says it right here the title black and um heard the decay you can see the the people who did this comic book you can see the comic book. You know it's so cool. It comes with a comic book. I don't know. Marvel Legends got do that too as well. And you can see the back. It says DC, of course. Ty is really kicking ass with these page punchers. And it comes with a car, accessories, a figure. Like, oh, of course it comes with Sam, of course. Like the newest one coming out is the Aqua Aqua Family. Um, page punctures with Aqualad. You know, if you've seen it, you've seen it. But I'm hyped for that. I'm probably going to get three of them as well. Um, Ocean Master. I'm really going to pick up Ocean Master. But I'm going to wait on Ocean Master just in case because I don't know what his scale is. Like, I'm trying to see if he's taller. So, yeah. Anywho, um, let's take a look at John Constantine. <laughs> we already three minutes and almost four minutes into this video, but anyhow, you can see his head scope. His head scope, if I can uh, 
zoom in. Oh, okay. In many videos, I was really hip stick. Ugh. Hesitate about the head scope. I really was like, eh, I'm not feeling this head scope on this figure. But now looking in person, I really do like this head scope. I just wish it looked like the animated one from um the new 52 DC AMU. Um, watch one of his um appearances on there, like Justice League Dark. That's one of them. Which I'm gonna do a comparison with another figure from that movie. Um, well, he does have two other movies, which is. Constantine Mystery of the House, the House of Mystery, the other one is City of the Demons. Watch that movie; it's really crazy. But just just be careful because you know watching it because they got some graphics on there. So yeah, and um, of course Justice League Dark Apocalypse War, which he had a biggest role in the movie, and and he's very funny and he's actually a British magic user in this DC comics which is funny oh he actually actually do have a live action appearance um the guy who playing the live action who's playing constantly is actually he does voice um as well constantine um in the, in the dc amu as well which i want to give that a clarify which he kills that role both live action and um um <laughs> the animations as well um but enough around we're going to talk about him while we're doing this review you can see you can see his black tie and i think new 52 he has a red tie as well but the same is the suit the same but he just got a red tie you can see the trench coat i wish i wish i wish it was like the other one for hush like please I like the trench coat. I like the rings on the trench coat, by the way. He can look up. He can look down. I really do hate the side eyes of what they're doing. I, I, I thought we were done, but I would see his pants, which looks so good. You know, he got double. Woo! Wow. These figures, man. I like it. I like it. See, he got double jointed. Knees, you can see his grunt. Oh, you heard that? That sounds good. That means it's good. If your figures can't do that, take it back. Anyway, you can see he got ankle rockers, you can toe, pivot, pivot to left and right. Um, of course, he got double jointed elbows. And yeah. Oh these come oh these do come off. I like that. I like that a lot. That is really cool. Okay. Then why you even come up extra accessories? More accessories in there. I'll pay an, an extra for his extra accessories. Like come on Todd. You know how we are. And especially he's a magic user. You could have game him with this. Um, there was people saying that his hands is too big for, um, like the other one. You can see the cigar hand. Yeah. Which it doesn't bother me, of course, but I just wish we got a second one at this. Imagine we got a second one at this and the book and some extra hands. Like, come on, Todd. Oh, look, we will pay the extra to get these extra accessories. Like, come on, Todd. But this is back in August during the, you know, 2022. But I'm just saying, do, do better next time when you make another Constantine. Just saying. Um, Overall, this this guy looks so fucking amazing. Um, What's his name? The guy who do the live action and the voice acting. Matt Ryan, I think that's his name is. Um, But he's really good. And also, he can hold a book, which we can... Ooh, okay, I don't know how long this video gonna be when I edit this, but yeah, and it's so cool that we can get a free comic book as well with a figure. Like that's so cool, Todd. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, 
you can see him trying to cast some spells and stuff. But anywho, let's do some comparisons and shortly. As you can see, Dead Man, he is part of the Justice League Dark. Um, we got many more to go. I know there's Blue Devil, um, Dr. Fate, which he he's more like a Justice Leaguer in Justice League, Justice Society of America. But he is part of Justice League Dark, I guess. Um, Swamp Thing, which I need to get in. Satana, of course, which we don't know when confirmation of Tom and the Satana. There's a lot of magic users as well in DC comic books. And we do have Estrogen, but I'm not feeling that Estrogen. I wish we got a classic looking Estrogen. New 52, please. Please. And he's not really buffing the other version, which I'm really disappointed of. So that's why I passed on that figure. But anywho, you can see he's the same height as Constantine, which is a good thing. Um, keeping things in scale. I know it's a big, big problem with scaling. Um, in in this DC multiverse line, but you know, just get it together, it's hot, please. Just get it together, please. But yeah. Oh, and you can see he got a uh, ripped jeans on there. I don't think he had it on the. Well, actually, you do. But anyway, if you do see this stuff in a while, um. I recommend picking up. I don't recommend. Well, it, you can pick and choose because this is the same comic book actually for all four different figures. So yeah, um, this is Tanko Pete done with this review, and yeah, I'm signing out.